Neo's Q3 earnings is set to be released Tuesday, November 17. And this is a very big day for many investors just to see where this Neo company stands as of now. On Friday, Neo stock dropped 14% after a certain short seller claimed that it is time to take your profits and move on from Neo. Not just that, Neo has gained another competitor in the Chinese EV realm. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys an update on this Neo company and this Neo stock. What the short seller said that made Neo stock drop 14%. Talk about their new competitor in this Chinese world and basically give you guys the information you guys will need before they report their earnings on November 17. So stick around to the end of the video, guys. I have a lot of great information for you all. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. I'm a dividend and value investor that just loves stocks. I research stocks in my spare time, especially electrifying companies that can 10x my money. Companies like Neo. I love the stock market so much, I even made a stock portfolio for my three-year-old daughter. And if this is the type of content you like and do enjoy, want to be part of the community, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button. Neo has gained more than 1,000% this year alone. The whole EV world has been benefiting this year, and the whole EV realm has been taking the stock market by storm. Neo is located in China, and China is the biggest market for electric vehicles. By year 2025, China wants at least 20% of the new cars to be electric basically positioning companies like Neo in a position for success. In China, there are three big EV companies. There's Xping, Li Auto, and Neo. Out of those three, Neo is the biggest and largest company out of those three, okay? Now, why am I mentioning that these three companies are the biggest ones in China? And the thing is, Xping and Li Auto have just reported their earnings, and both of these companies have beat expectations, meaning they have increased their revenues, they have increased their vehicles sold, and they have lowered their loss of profit, okay? And that is very big news for a lot of Neo investors and a lot of Neo bulls in general. Why? Because since Neo is in better position than these these two companies, it's already expected that Neo will beat expectations, will lessen their, their loss when it comes to their losses and profits, will increase their vehicles sold, and increase their revenue, okay? So this is a lot of great news, and it already brings a lot of speculation for the Q3 earnings. Neo is a company that is not profitable as of yet, but should give a lot of investors a great idea and a good estimate to when they might break even and when they will finally make a profit. So with big expectations, why did this Neo company drop 14% on Friday? One of the best and most respected short sellers, Citron, has came out and stated that now is the time to take your profits and move on from Neo. Citron is the same company that two years ago stated when Neo was trading at $7 a share that now is the time to buy. Now they're turning around and saying that Neo has a lot of uncertainty short term that this company isn't really going to meet up to par with a lot of investors. They are stating that they might lose 48% of their value and their share price might be $25 a share. Certainly a credible short seller like Citron must have their reasons and one of the main reasons that they feel it's time to pull out a Neo is because the competition in China is actually heating up thanks to companies like Tesla. Tesla is planning to cut their prices on their vehicles making their vehicles a lot cheaper than Neo vehicles. Tesla has the luxury and the benefit to leverage their profits a little bit and they have the chance to lower their cost per car, okay? Neo doesn't have that same luxury. Neo's cost per car is a lot higher than Tesla. So even if Neo tried to lower the prices a little bit, it won't be too much of an adjustment compared to Tesla's price cuts. Secondly, Citron also feels that Neo's current evaluation just doesn't make any sense. They feel that they won't live up to the current evaluation and be profitable anytime soon. They feel that Neo is just three letters on the stock market that has a current price and just moves up and down, basically belittling this company. And before I give you guys my price prediction on Neo, I wanna mention this to you guys. Citron is the same short seller that has been betting against Tesla for some time now. And every time they bent against Tesla, they are wrong, okay? So maybe the EV realm isn't Citron's specialty. And in my personal opinion, I feel like they are missing some very key points that could basically drive Neo stock price even higher than what it currently is. Number one, China is a big EV market, okay? Even if Tesla starts to eat some of their clientele, Neo still has a lot of room for growth and a lot of chance to be 
be profitable, okay? Number two, Neo is currently working on a battery that's less cost efficient and has better life expectancy. So, so if they do this, they could probably lower their prices per vehicle and basically compete even more with Tesla. Number three, Neo has increased their sales every quarter. So if they beat expectation when they report their earnings, it will shut a lot of doubters up and have a lot of Neo investors and Neo bulls very happy. But we, everything is just expectations and speculation. So we will just have to wait and see. Remember everyone, I'm not a day trader. I'm a long-term investor. I will be holding this Neo stock for some time now, like three, four, five, 10 years, okay? I do believe this company, in my personal opinion, will be profitable within the next few years and will have a more piece of the pie than what people may think, okay? And that's basically the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. I really do enjoy the support I've been getting as of late. Thank you all for watching all the way through. And if you have been watching all the way through, I really do appreciate you guys, okay? Please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, smash the like button. Remember to be kind to one another. Please be safe out there. Until next time, have a great day.